Hey everybody, this is a Glider Cat and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry. Let's pick up where we left off. I think last episode we had built the massive coal belt and that is working. Got a tiny bit of coal here making it all the way to the end of the line here. And it looks like our dirt brick makers are starting to back up on coal, which is good. And then the very last stop for that belt, I guess could be considered the copper smelting operation. It looks like that's starting to back up as well. I suppose we could have put a loose storage here, but nah, it's probably fine. We have enough just stored on the belt itself and we'll upgrade those belts. So the coal is moving. I'm gonna pause. Um, if we look over here, these are even backing up with coal a little bit. So I'm gonna remove the boost and I'm gonna pause both our coal makers and we'll see if we can um, if we can get by without having to run those two things. Um, the ship I've sent out a couple times, it just uh, went to battle and lost a couple times. I'm a little concerned. We have vehicle parts, we have copper plates, we have rubber that can't be unloaded because our dock is up, is loaded with a bunch of stuff. Maybe we can do, make one effort here to get rid of some of this stuff. How about the bricks? I'm gonna set up a storage. There might be a better way to do this, but I'm not sure what it is. I just need to get rid of the bricks that are sitting in storage. Looks like we're doing really good on bricks, by the way. How about, how about over here? We just put a storage kinda out of the way. This'll be bricks. Trucks can deliver the cargo. I can actually put a keep full on this thing, maybe. And then I want to make sure before we do that, the truck, all the truck stuff is off on these guys. I don't want them pulling, oops, wrong one. I don't want them pulling material out of these factories and then putting it into this particular storage. I want this storage to only be filled from, um, from the, our dock. Basically, okay, truck is off, 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 good. Then we'll just belt this stuff onto the normal line. Boom. In fact, we're doing so good on bricks. I'm going to pause one of these, I guess. Maybe two. Ah, we'll just pause one for now. So that should have a net result of emptying the cargo or shipyard of all those bricks. In fact, looks like they're already using some for building purposes. Uh, we could do the same thing for electronic parts as well. Ooh, looks like we're running low on electricity. Diesel is slowly rebounding. I'm gonna go ahead and kick on our last diesel generator. We're gonna need more. We do have coal power queued up in the research tree, but it's gonna be a while. It's, uh... Where is that? The eighth one in the research tree. So that's going to take some time. Escape out of that. This episode, what do I want to do? We want to get to, ideally, we'd get to terraforming over here and get to this limestone deposit. Um, but I also want to get aggressive on our terraforming over here and setting up this coal mine and understanding we're going to run into some dirt as we do it. Thinking taking this all down to like level one above sea level. Let's, uh, let's get on that. We're going to rework the coal operation here a bit. I'm going to tighten up this mining area. So that crew will stay doing what it's doing. I'm going to call this coal miners team one. Whoops. Team one. Hit the tilde key by mistake. Boom. And let's get another mine tower down here. This will be all miners team two, save it. And let's have that area be, take a look at the overlay. This area back. Maybe starting over here.
Okay, and I think I have an I've got two excavators waiting. Uh, let's start with one excavator and three trucks. And then I want these guys to just start digging down. Hopefully we won't dip, we won't jeopardize the stability of this thing. I guess we could put support walls next to it. We'll see. I don't have those researched yet, so I don't think I can do that yet. Retaining walls. But this I want... Yeah, I want these guys going down. I guess I'm okay if we get a little or a lot of landslide here because we have a bit of room on either side. Let's go like this to get these guys started. Now they're going to kick up a ton of dirt. And where to put that dirt? I'm wondering if we can just fill in around the sand with dirt. So I'm envisioning that we're going to come back and mine out this sand and maybe go a little deep. I guess this isn't, these aren't real deep deposits, are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight meters down below this surface. These won't be real deep mines. These are relatively shallow deposits. But I was thinking if we filled in the surrounding area with dirt, then as we mine, we might be able to make use of that dirt. As we mine the sand, later we could make use of the dirt. Um, so let's get another crew going. I'm going to put another mine control tower. This will be a terraforming crew. I think where I want this thing. Maybe here. This one's going to be our sand. Terraforming crew. Maybe out of one there just in case. And then I want another mine control tower. And this is going to be to limit the fill in the water area to dirt. We'll see if that makes sense to do or not. Maybe I'll send the stone off to the other side or something. I'm thinking we're going to get a bunch of excess dirt. Maybe we try to put that in one spot. So get rid of everything. You can't dump anything but dirt. Hit the area. In fact, that'll be a huge area. That's as big as they're going to let me go initially. I'll take it. I only want dirt and sand. Let me add sand to this. The dirt and sand can be dumped in this area and hopefully nothing else. Not sure what this light square is. I'll have to look at that. Yeah, only dirt and sand dumped in the water here. Let's add an excavator and add three trucks. So that. We need to do designations, but I want to make sure I've got trucks queued up here. Let's get more trucks going. Okay, terrain leveling's researched. Dismiss that. Okay, now we need designations over here for these guys. Um, we want to burrow down. Let's see. Eventually, we want this down, I think, to level one. Let me lower this. I think we're going to try to pull that off. Taking this all the way down to level one. Try to focus in on this main area. Now we need to ramp up to that, to this level. That's plus one. This gets us where we need to mine. Looks like these designations are needed. These are the guys I want actually working. And terraforming crew. So let's get those guys staffed. And they're going to dig down. And then they're going to start ripping up this sand. And then hopefully filling in the area with sand. Let's do our fill designations for all that stuff. This we want all leveled out to level one. Well, 
that. And then this spot in the middle is actually the most important. So let's take out the mining designations that don't matter. Let's do fill designations through here. I think we can stack these on top of each other. It may take longer than it should, the way I have this specified. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. In fact, I may get more people working on that. Get another excavator in the queue, at least. Boom. All right, so that is terraforming. We should eventually get a little more coal supplied. How's everything looking? Oh, another thing we need to do. We have storage for construction part ones. I'd like to get storage set up for construction part twos. These guys are backing up. We might as well save their output. Um, where can we do it? Where can we do it? We'd do it right there without blocking stuff. What about over here? One, two, they're gonna be construction part twos storage. We do it on Unity, it looks okay. Uh, I'm gonna quick deliver this. So we can start getting those construction part twos stored up. It's like production's looking pretty good, right? Our brick problem is gone. We got a ton of bricks. Um, coal, how's coal doing? Coal's feeding all our blast furnaces pretty well. Iron is just barely keeping up. This belt's not backing up, this U-shaped conveyor. But it is keeping things supplied, so that's probably okay for now. What else? What else? Vehicle parts. Do we want... I don't think I even need storage for those. To tell you the truth. I'm thinking about it, but we're going to be having to make um, vehicle part level 2s off of these. Maybe its own internal storage is enough. Not sure. To think about that one. What about emptying the dock? What else could we get rid of? We talked about... Ooh, look at all those copper plates. Maybe we can do something with copper plates. Looks like these guys are driving through here. I want to block the road. I think this is going to scale up this direction. So I don't necessarily want to put storage here and block. Good put storage. I don't want to leave these roads the way they are too. What about, yeah, and this is just to empty the dock as we bring in copper plates or deconstruct things. Could we do it where it's out of the way? I'm kind of envisioning putting another array, smelting array for copper right here. So I don't want to totally be in the way there. We could lay that out actually. Necessarily have to build it yet. Copper's another thing I'm a little nervous about because this mine, we can only go so deep before we start flooding. I need to get a fill strategy in place over here at some point. Let me copy this. I kind of have an idea what I want to do here. room for smokestack and that's really it. That's output. That's the belt. I'm just looking here. That's fine. Pause all that. I don't want to build it yet. just want to build this storage.
gear. This is going to be for copper plates. Full. And I need to tie into that belt. Which for now, I think I'm going to do just real easy. like that and that hopefully will get the copper plates out of our shipyard so we can unload the other stuff we have here we got a bunch of vehicle parts we could probably be making use of if we could get them off the ship and more copper got tons of copper all right so that's a little bit of efficiency there what else this guy is waiting on rubber let's take care of the rubber problem Diesel is starting to accumulate. Happy about that. Didn't realize we were low on rubber. We are. How about we unlock both of these guys? All right. All right. All right. We slowly. Oh, do we have problems already? The guy's getting stuck. Come on, buddy. Why did you drive there if you can't get away? I'm just going to recover these when I see this without too much thinking about it. This guy may complain about not having a place to dump, right? There's another truck mirrored, ghosted in here, I think, that's got a full load, maybe? Can't tell. That's the full truck icon, I think. We might need storage, because they may not be able to get to the dump site just yet. Huh. It is just one truck. Yeah, he doesn't have anywhere to dump that. We may have to do a temporary higher level dump here. Let's try that. Um, I'm within the big giant dumping designation. This row right here. Boom. I'm going to go higher. Just so these trucks have a place to start dumping. I um, think this is all level three. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, he's going to do his thing. I uh, reset that truck. Is it going to come back? Yeah, it should come back. I still have three assigned. So that'll give these guys hopefully a little place to dump until they can reach the water and then we have a bunch of dumping designations on the water, don't we? We don't. Let's do it. Good. Um, yeah, I think we're going to need to do that. Let's do it. Dumping designation level. I may have to ramp down, won't I? Let's try that. Ramp down to level one. That's going to be a sand dumping. Sand or dirt dumping. In fact, I can probably do it here too. And then level one. Crossed. Um, this isn't where I want them to dump right away, but they may need room to do this before they can access the other areas. So I'm going to put a bunch of dump designations there. And then hopefully, once this excavator burrows down a little bit, these guys can start filling in the water. And then ideally, as soon as they can get over here and hit this designation, maybe we rip up the others. Because that's really what we want to do, is bridge our way across. We would like to get another excavator on that. Curious to see where this guy dumps his dirt. If he's going to go all the way across the island, or if he's going to do our brick manufacturing, or if he's going to dump it local. Hoping he dumps it local. Let's see what he does. I think he's got one more shovel full. Where are you going, buddy? You're going to go all the way across the island. Hmm. 
it's because we have a keep full on this. What if we say it's mostly full? Bother. Or we could turn this off now. Let's turn that one off. This one. Can we assign that yet? Not yet. Eventually, I think we'll be able to assign it to our or link it to our mine towers and then limit it to only trucks that are working these mine towers so that other trucks don't come all the way across the island to dump dirt in here. But we can't do that yet. It's in the tech tree, I believe. It's probably coming soon. Um, advanced logistics control. Let's get that added to the clue queue. I think that's going to allow me to do that. New mailing mainly assign buildings to each other to set up routes that trucks will follow. Supported by storage, mine control tower also enables to assign trucks to individual storages. Yeah, that's what we want. It's going to be a while before that gets researched. Not the end of the world. These guys are doing their thing. Would love to get another excavator on that. Trucks are now very busy, even though we have this big, huge coal belt. So what's next? And what's next is we have a simmering problem with copper. We're going to eventually need to dig down and be cognizant of the water nearby that we don't flood. That's a simmering problem that needs attention. Um, the other thing we have going is we should be thinking about advanced diesel. In order to do that, we need to repair our oil rig. I think we, we need to repair a cargo ship sitting somewhere. I think, did we find the cargo ship? Maybe not. No. Uh, let's send our ship out to explore. And then let's, yeah, he's going to go explore. And then let's start thinking about repairing this offshore oil rig. I'm going to do start repairs. And then here, start loading the ship. We'll fetch 120 construction part twos. We're doing pretty good. We have 204. So that's awesome. Uh, that's copper plates. We didn't do electronics yet, did we? We did copper plates. As far as emptying the back up here, we have electronics to get rid of. Cement as well. Cement. Cement. Do that over here somewhere. Uh, let's just put a loose storage for that. This isn't the biggest priority in the world, but um, I want to be clear of this pipe. Zoom. Meant. Keep full. Again, that's just so we can empty this material. Vehicle parts, I think we'll end up burning through those on our own, hope. Mechanical parts, there's not many. And they're finally loading construction part twos. This guy's just about full. I could turn off copper smelting for a bit. It is backed up. Let's do it. Might regret this later. Let's see if we can burn through the copper plates we already have. Oh, what's this guy waiting on? Oh, rubber. Rubber. That's another belt we need to do. Um, should we do that now? Why would you not? Yeah, this whole deal. Let's see, electronics we're using for maintenance stuff, vehicle parts. I have a feeling we're going to need it for lab equipment, but I can't quite remember. I know this is going to be scaled up. So I'm just thinking about that as I think about where to put these belts. Yeah, eventually we need ramps, more ramps. I'm going to run this belt across until we do need that ramp. And let's see if we can match these pillars a little bit. Looks decent to me. I 
thinking I want one more storage of rubber. I think about a couple things here. Let's do another storage for rubber. Come on. And storage. Hitting the wrong key. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap. Boom. I want one here. Boom. These are going to be rubber. You, you, you. That guy can go across. This guy can go across. This guy can go in here like that. And this is going to be the one that empties our... Um, hopefully, how can I do that? Want this one to empty the shipyard whenever we deconstruct stuff. Want this one to take rubber. But I don't want trucks to go pull rubber from here and shove it in there. So I think I just have to leave this as don't keep full. And hope that when we set the shipyard to keep empty kind of thing, keep empty. That if rubber is in here, they will take it to that storage. I can't. Don't think I can put on a keep full designation and prevent trucks from just taking it from this one and loading that guy up. That makes sense. All right. That's that for rubber. And then let's, I wanted to get that in place so I can run this belt. You. Over to here. Are you going to connect? You're probably not going to want to connect. I don't want you there. There you go. Good. Okay, that'll get rubber routed into at least our electronic parts. These guys. I'm looking for maintenance over here. This guy doesn't need rubber. These guys don't need rubber. Okay, good. And then we're going to scale. Like I said, I think we're going to scale this electronic parts up in this direction. Could add one more now already, it looks like. Man, yeah, we're burning through it. Let's do that. Let's do it. Maybe two. Just gonna go this way. Okay, that gets us more electronics. Rubber is on its way. Uh, I bet we can go down to just one rubber producer. Let's do that. Unity is okay. I will. I'm gonna go down to one. Just I don't think we need both running. We'll see. Location explored. We discovered a settlement. A little bit of rubber. A little bit of copper. Array. We're looking for the cargo ship. There it is. Boom. We do have it. Okay, start repairs. This guy needs 240 iron plates. I'm going to do start repairs on that. And I'm going to load up our ship with the other stuff. Hopefully it's all there. Okay, oil rig. All cargo is loaded. We can send the ship on its way. Let's go fix the oil rig. Boom, deliver cargo. And then let's start loading up the iron plates we need. 240 of those. We should have close to that in storage. We have 180. 
Hopefully trucks can get to that. I think they can. Um, we can find out. Let's uh, look at the navigation overlay and get this out of the way. Yeah, clearly they can come down there. Maybe we add one more storage for iron plates. Easy to do. We just snap it on there. And then later we'll be able to upgrade these. I don't think we've unlocked the upgrades yet. Nope. I don't see an upgrade button. But in the meantime, we can add one more storage. So. Boom. 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 That's all going well. Mechanical parts. We actually have a couple of these on pause. Maintenance is still fine. I mean, you just leave that the way it is. Till we come up short. Looks like we got plenty right now. Electronics looks a little anemic, so hopefully these guys will kick in and get us some more of those. Looks like we have plenty of rubber and copper. Is that all you need? Rubber and copper, yeah. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Retaining walls were researched. That's good. Might put a couple next to this thing. Let's do that preemptively. May not need this, but... And I'm sure there's some technique I don't know on the best way to do these. But we'll have to make do. They're not going to get built till we have the concrete slabs anyway. At least that's placed. Looks like these guys are doing their thing. They're able to dump. This guy's doing some leveling. We'll have to get another excavator on that. Do we have one ready? We do. Get another excavator and another two trucks on that terraforming job. These guys are digging up dirt. Uh, let's see where this guy takes the dirt this time. If he goes, out. if he goes way across, he may come way over to here. I hope not. That should be just be barely keep full. Let's see where this guy goes. Oh yeah, that's a pro. Oh, uh, where are you going? He's going to fuel, refuel. That's another thing we'll have to do is route fuel over to this other side of the island. But that's task for a much later date. Okay, we're starting to empty out our copper plates. I like it. How we doing here? Do we still have a bunch? Nope. Those are gone. I'm going to turn on the copper and then we're going to call it an episode. Get this smelting back online. Got plenty of workers for it. Bricks are still backed up. I wonder if we could pause one of those. We'll let it run. We'll let it run. Might be good to have a buffer, you know, of bricks somewhere. Just so we could shut things down and run a little more efficient, maybe. Be here. We have a lot of trucks coming through this way, though. I hate to block that. Could do it right here. Divert into storage and then come back. I don't know. Seems kind of hokey. Think about it. Let's leave it here. Ooh, our oil rig's repaired. I like it. We'll have to, let's get that queued up before I forget. Oh man. I want to unpause this. Uh, I don't need that many workers to get it going. Yeah, let's get this started. We can start accumulating some oil. Got a fair, a uh, fair amount of storage. I'd like to get this guy upgraded too. We might be doing that pretty soon. I think that allows us to store more and then assign more workers. Yeah, let's leave it here for now. This is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series on Captain of Industry. We're making progress. We got our massive coal belt done and we kicked up the terraforming effort quite a bit. We're building out the coal mine much more significantly. It looks like we have a trucking issue. Oh, mining designations. We'll have to add more next episode. These guys are starting to terraform the sand deposits. So we'll have a mixture of sand and dirt here. We'll end up mining that later by mining it back. We just want to fill this water up and then we also want to bridge so we can get to this limestone. So that's underway. We've got two excavators going on it. That's all good. We're making good progress. I will see you all in the next episode.